Friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Days Gone over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Devo, we are jumping back into the shoes of Deacon St. John. Now, when we last left off, we had some serious video issues in the last episode due to the campus here. I'm not really sure what the deal with that was. And uh, we were unable to find Weaver's MP3 player. I'm pretty sure the the quest just kind of bugged out because we cleared the horde and uh, it didn't like load the quest in and had the horde at the same time. So we're going to head back over now. Hopefully the video issues don't kick in. But if they do, we're going to go... I guess we'll go apply ourselves at a side quest and then come back. Even though they, that's that's literally on the opposite corner of the map. So I'd like to not do that. But that that is how we're going to play it. Again, I'm not really sure what caused the uh, the frame rate issues in-game last, uh, last week. But um, well, here we are. It's... Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. I know, Deacon. You you always say that, but you know, we we never actually do that. You you're aware of that, right, Deacon? We don't we don't actually burn out these nests. I mean, sometimes we do, but most of the time we uh we do not. All right, so that's two of these little little tents here I that don't I'll have it. I guess I'll back burning this infestation zone later. Yes, we 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 just might do that. And then uh, not only are we going to go through the tents themselves, we're going to take a slow sweep around them. Because I feel like I had this problem when I played this game last time to where uh, I thought it should have been obvious and easy, and it just wasn't. Here, a little kid zombie somewhere. Kid, kid zombies? Hmm? Oh, regular zombies too, I guess. Let's. Uh, oh, we do not have a silencer for the deagle right now. That is that is unfortunate. Anything over here in this mess of stuff? No. It does appear, however, that the uh, the the frame rate issue has seemed to have stabilized. I think maybe it had something to do with like the sunlight. That might have been it. Aha! Yes. yes. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. I mean, it really almost certainly is not. But we did get the fuse, I want to say, last episode, too, so... Fuel can. Let's go find the generator here, see if we can't tag-team our, uh... Stop and shop at the college campus, so to speak. Although, I'm pretty sure we need the fuse, not the gas tank, to start this bad boy up. Wait, is that it there? Drop that for a second. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> it's just, you think something's it, and then it's not. It's a story of my life. Oh, god damn it. Fuse blown. What I heard humming over there. Oh, I do. But it's... Doesn't seem to be within visual range, so we're all good. Alright. <sighs> now we're in business. I'll let you do it. Did did that do it? I don't uh I don't know. Oh, we still have to fire up the generator like normal. Okay, that makes some sense, I guess. Imagine braving a zombie horde at a abandoned college campus to get somebody an MP3 player. Just drink in the uh the absurdity of that. Like, obviously, uh... Is the generator not over here? Obviously, it's absurd, you know, zombie apocalypse to begin with, but... Alright, let's uh, see if we can't climb up here and get a better look. Oh, no, we're not climbing up there, apparently. But up here? Cut this speaker off. We'll never, uh... We'll never get all the speakers here, but... Still hear that humming. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna... There you go. So <laughs> We're gonna just take care of you. Ain't none of your nonsense. Hopefully that doesn't attract a lot of zombies. I don't see the generator. Maybe it's on the other side of the camp. That's <laughs> possible. Tuck and roll. Actually, hold on, Deacon. While we're here, let's get this tree. Need this? Yeah, we do. Because we're still trying to craft ourselves some crossbow bolts. That's what happens when you go the whole game without actually collecting any crossbow uh, materials. 
Come on, generator. You're here somewhere. You literally have to be. That's how generators work. There's a zombie over there. That's not good. Yeah, there is going to be zombies on this side of the camp just because there's a whole bunch of nests that we never actually cleared out. And that is a fact that's just dawning on me now. It might be useful. Stuff. Stuff's always useful. Is there just... Am I just not seeing... Oh, maybe it's over here? I was saying, maybe if I followed the wires, I would probably find, you know, a generator. That thing that wires are usually hooked to. I don't got no bullets, though, so this is really kind of dicey for me to do this. Nah, everything's fine here. How are you? <laughs> Just take that. Nope. Good night. Come on, Deagle, don't fail me now. There we go. Anybody else? There we go. Why did that set off a car alarm? What? Why? No, no, that's a that's a bad car alarm. Shit, I'm just out. There you go, how about that? Well, at least the car alarm shut off. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta look on the bright side of life, I suppose. Alright, I don't want to spend the whole... The whole episode here looking for a generator. And this place is just... This place is just massive. Alright. Maybe that's something I'll do uh, in an in-between episode. Because as I said, there, we got we got way too much to do in this game to dawdle about here for too long. I definitely remember kind of getting distracted slash lost here the first time I played this game. Just because the place was so big. Alright, so we're going to go back to town. I don't think I can... I can fast travel, that's lovely. I didn't think it was going to let me because we're technically in, like, a contaminated area. But apparently it's all good with that. Yes. Let me in. We're going to go turn this in, but first we're going to have to go swing by the Quartermaster. Because we are, we are dangerously low on pretty much all our bullets. I think that's to the right here. Yeah. Corporal Deacon Saint John. Why you gotta say it like that, Jacob? <laughs> they get the Why? Best Why you gotta be that guy? Island. Oh, big spender. Yeah. Gonna make okay, you a quadrillionaire. Like Come on. There you go. Hit me with that quadrillionaire line. You know oh, you yeah. want to. Upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? You're a you're a weird guy, Jacob. I'm just gonna just gonna throw that out there. Okay, that's all we need for that. Get anything new? That's a weird weapon, but no. No, we're good. Yeah, okay. Uh, where are we turning this in at? See ya, Corporal. 90 meters, so hey, we're gonna... Hey, what are you doing here? D. Corporal in command. Sit down, Jacob, you weirdo. Just saying random things for no reason. That's right, we're going into the cave. We really didn't need the motorcycle for that, but, you know... Here we are. Why does it sound like zombies in here? Did you hear that? Definitely sound like zombies. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. oh, man, what do we have here? Oh! Brother! 
You're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. <laughs> mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. I can't imagine how awesome it would be to have music again in the zombie apocalypse after so long. Uh, we're on like almost 900 days of the apocalypse, so yeah, I can't imagine how awesome that would be. Uh, now we're on the lovely, the lovely story called Shadow of Death. Drive to location. It's it's right there. I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk if that's okay with you, game. Advancing the story will temporarily temporarily lock you out from the southern regions. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Let's uh. Where where did my bike go? Why is it Why is it down here all of a sudden? Who's touching my bike? That ain't right. I just want to check to see. We have two uses of the saddle bag, right? Deke, Corporal, hey. What's up? Sarge. Oh, you want me to talk talk to you in front of the counter kind of deal? Deacon, come on, it's right there, man. Whatever you're looking for, we got it. All right, so if okay. if that's the case, we have camp credits. See you, Corporal St. John. Let's go to Captain Corey's place real quick to just to make sure we don't we can't get anything else on the bike before we get out of here. Because we're about to about to get locked out. Well, we're about to get locked out. That's just that's how that's gonna be. Um, everything else looks copacetic. I don't know what that is. What's this, oh, just hunting bounties. All just kind of uh, miscellaneous side quest stuff. That's fast travel over here. In extreme silence. No, Deacon, why, why you do that? You fast travel somewhere and then, like, get your bike, get off your bike and leave it outside. Hey, Who does that? It's like, you know what, I'm, I'm entering a fortified bunker, but, like, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leave my bike outside the bunker. Now, how's it going? New around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergy. Okay, Deacon weirdo. St. John. Yeah, I, I just got here. Don't well, need any of this. Deacon St. John. This you person do doesn't job. even I'm sell weapons. How's that? See the mechanic, cool. there you go. Uh, what can I get for you? Sarge. Alright, so I never got trust level 2 here, so... We're gonna be limited on stuff we can get. We can get nah, I don't even have enough for that, that's a shame. I think this is the same, the same problem I ran into last time when I was here. Yeah, I just don't have the cheddar, so to speak. Alright, I can oh, afford I can. one of those things, maybe, if we can find Let's the see you, Corporal. Uh, the, bount close, yeah. the bounty hut over here. <laughs> Sell Hello. everything. Hello, you. Hello, Sergeant. Oh, okay. Corporal. Good doctor. Well, hey, Corporal. well, I did get Corporal. some camp credit. We might be able hey, to Sarge. get something here. Maybe, maybe new tires. Oh yeah, those tires are way better. Oh, but look at how beefy those are. Those are some beefy tires. Good, good choice, gotta say. All right, let's All right, get out of here. Oh, yeah, you know what? Hold on. Need some petrol, yeah? Yes, I do. Okay then. Where's my, where's my bike? There we go. And now we just fast travel back. And then I guess we're gonna, we're gonna do the old mosey. Yeah, look at the look at the beef on them tires. I don't even think I had these tires when I played through on uh, the first time. I don't think I could afford them, or rather, I wasn't aware that you have to go to the Captain Corey's kind of outpost to be able to upgrade the motorcycle parts in this like section of the game. But uh, otherwise, let's uh, let's get out of here. Yep. I have had. A revelation. Oh, here we go. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. 
They're coming to this place. At this time. Yeah. Is no accident. No. They bring word of more camps. Like the one to the south, which we have purged. Right. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened. All of us. Every day. We live in the shadow of death. Oh, yeah. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. No, it's right. They are part of God's plan. They are part of God's punishment. No. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. It is our fellow man. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. To save all the knowledge. So when the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. But in this age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. There will be new baptism of water. No. In this last age, we are the flood. We are sent forth to baptize the world with fire. St. John, come in. I'm here. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and Militia Camp. You've disabled the RPGs. Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. I'll bring it out. Like, oh yeah, the RPGs. Gotta get to the RPGs. Also, when a. Uh, would they be? Oh, the towers. It's gotta be the towers. Yes. Also, when uh, somebody starts talking about Holy War for future reference, that's a good idea to get out of there. That's <laughs> because, uh. That's right. Keep moving. Speech? Move it against other camps? Oh, we. That's harsh. I was gonna say, am I supposed to sneak here? Or was. Yeah, right. I guess, I guess I'll try and be stealthy. I should probably be stealthy for this. Come on, you son of a bitch. That'll do it. I gotta get this arrow. Ah, oh, there's just there's just the one launcher Somewhere in the whole camp. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Yeah, this is uh this is a part of the game where the colonel kinda shows his hand, so to speak, and it's pretentious. <laughs> Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Got to keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the orders... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. We're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? O'Brien. Well, I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close. And if we see anyone... In case you didn't read my note. So who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? Oh, come on. Oh, shit, Weaver. No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private, are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man. 
That canister, right there. Oh, I don't want to see that canister fall. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. I got this, don't worry. Let's go around them. You sure? Okay. Just like right kill them. He's coming here? Yeah, look. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean, God Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Nice. Uh, be careful. Sorry, man. This area is off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? That'll teach you for talking back to an officer. Gotta work. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. I'll be careful. Uh, Sarah, that's. I didn't think that's what you had in mind. Well done. You just Come choke on. him out, We're you know? <laughs> But, you know, say la vie, I guess. I can't wait to see Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, you yeah, are, I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. God, it's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Oh, God, wait, wait. Whoa, <laughs> what? Yeah, see, I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> Considering Sarah just like kept running there, did you see that? I, I really don't think that was how that was supposed to happen. I can't wait to see Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me to Lost Lake? I mean, I mean, I, I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. God, it's not like we have much family left these days, you know. Wait, I'll distract him. This is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? Do oh, you you, you know the penalty for questioning her. That's a sleepy time. Good work. Couldn't have done it without you. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. Ah, yes, light. Delicious, sweet, sweet light. Also, where the heck are we? I don't think I've ever been over here before. I mean, you know, this time. <laughs> okay, we made it. Where's it? Where is he? Where's O'Brien? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just uh, need to... gentlemen. This is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, well, Lieutenant, I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! Wait! 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 He's a murderer ride. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? Remember that camp I told you about? You know I am not. like the leader of that camp. Lost Lake oh, sent him here. this is full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. He comes out of nowhere and you're going to believe what, him? What's that you camp you're saying I'm from? You think Lost I'm lying? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain 
Kuri, I forget, is that the eighth or the ninth commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. And whilst they came, he attacked the woman. What the fuck are you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog, chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn it. <clears throat> How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You hide behind angelic names and throw the truth is, the truth is, lies. He got kicked out you of You are Judas! Out of his pool. And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! Did the officer- Colonel! It was me! Uh, it was me! But Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to walk up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial and he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Even Corey was confused by that last part. Like, wait, what? <laughs> and things go from bad to maximum bad. Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains. <clears throat> Not something you see every day. I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. 
and your wife's name. It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really? The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Boy, wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <laughs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well, then what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you. Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. Just like that, when things are at their worst, a glimmer of hope. That being said, that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Days Gone. I am Devo, Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below just thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.